You have an idea for a retrieval, augmented generation, or RAG solution, but how can you get leadership and business customers to fund it? By building a rapid demo with the GPT. Welcome to episode 19. This is a fun one because I'm going to show you how to quickly build RAG demos that can hugely impact your projects and career. If you need a RAG primer, First watch episode 17, our intro to retrieval augmented generation. RAG is a great approach for building generative AI solutions, but people unfamiliar with large language models have a difficult time understanding it. Additionally, a RAG solution can require a few weeks or months of upfront data work. As a result, you may struggle to get leadership support and funding for your RAG project. So you need to demonstrate potential impact before pitching it. I do this by creating a prompt with the retrieved data and comparing it to the general output from an LLM. I demo it with a GPT because you can separate the prompt and data from the user interaction. Let's build one step by step. Suppose you're an analytics leader at an insurance company charged with developing solutions for the customer support department. You have an idea for a RAG solution but before requesting funding, you need to get buy-in from Anita, VP of Customer Support. A big support challenge is answering customer questions related to their insurance policy for two reasons. One, the policy details are in unstructured text documents such as PDFs. Two, the customer's account and financial details are in a database. As a result, Call center reps have to gather information from multiple data sources before answering many customer questions. For example, a policy may describe conditions for taking out a loan, while the accounts table describes whether a policyholder meets these conditions. But with both sets of data, answering questions is usually straightforward and a great task for an LLM. Instead of trying to convince Anita in a meeting, we're going to make a demo so she can experience it. First, we need to generate some data using ChatGPT. I document every step and share all of the prompts in our free report, Discover AI Opportunities with Generated Data. Check out the show notes for a link and get your copy. I generate the policy by copying the prompts from the report and pasting them into ChatGPT. Now I have a sample policy for our demo. Next, I copy the accounts table generation prompts and do the same. I finish by telling it to reconcile any differences and generally improve the data quality. If you have a rough idea of the data quality you need, this process should take you less than 30 minutes. Next, we create a GPT. I jump to the Configure tab and fill out the fields. In the Instructions field, I give the model some basic directions and paste in the data we just created. These are all in the free report as well, so I'll just copy and paste them. Finally, I'll create a few conversation starters, essentially buttons, so the customers can drive the demos themselves. In this case, I included questions that required data from both the policy and customer accounts table. At this point, I'm done, and it's just a matter of tweaking the instructions. Now let's give Anita, VP of Customer Support, a demo and see if she will be an advocate for the project. We first show Anita why ChatGPT can't be used for customer support. Now this may seem too obvious for discussion, but showing results without augmented data drives home how well RAG actually works. Notice that I have the exact instructions and the same question that I'm about to demonstrate with the GPT, and of course it spits out nonsense. Next, I give Anita the URL for the GPT and explain the scenario. John Doe has called into the call center and the rep has validated his credentials. We then retrieved his policy and account information and passed it to the model. I then ask Anita to select one of the questions I created. The model generates the results and the benefits of augmenting the model with retrieved data are instantly obvious. At this point, Anita begins testing other support questions 
or asks about system options or limitations. Regardless of how the discussion unfolds, this simple demo can save you months of general steering committee meetings that only produce more questions than answers. Reading or talking about RAG is just no substitute for seeing the reasoning power of an LLM in action. These simple hacks are critical for analytics leaders, product managers, and entrepreneurs trying to build support for their generative AI ideas. The best ideas don't matter if you can't get others to buy into them. This is an example of the valuable, practical advice we share every week on this channel. Be sure to subscribe and sign up for our weekly email newsletter so you don't miss a critical tip. If you found this advice valuable, you should next watch my video on creating your AI strategy in one hour.